Hello my friends and welcome to another pick a card reading. I hope you're all doing really really well. I'm sending you lots of love. And uh, today's pick a card reading is what signs are emerging from your soul. So another deep dive um, on the kind of same vein as shadow but not quite in the darkness. This is something from the innate part of what you are um, and maybe spirit can help in bringing those messages to the surface so i'm guided to do a little clearing before we start on your pile choice so i'm just going to hit this bell and let your mind just clarify clarify and clear um, so that the messages can come through Take a moment to take a breath and I will reveal the pile choices. Pile one is the assassin. Pile two is the fate. And pile three is the air. As usual, timestamps will be in the description box below and I'll see you at your reading. Bye. Hi, Paul One. Welcome to your reading. So you chose the assassin. Really interesting start. So the first thing I'm getting here is that you want to kind of go in there and and kind of extract the <laughs> the messages in quite a um, efficient and also maybe brutal way. You're not scared to go in and cause some damage, regardless of whether or not you know if if the purpose is in healing then uh, it's, you're all for it. It's almost like, you know, that whole thing where you have to take out a tooth and it might be quite brutal to do so, but then, you know, getting it done is going to be a lot better in the long term rather than, you know, kind of waiting around or, you know, you'd rather go in there and get it done. You're, you're efficient uh, and deadly in that way. So, like, it's not, you know, you don't mess around, basically. So... Which is a really interesting asp interesting way to look at like this sort of work, and I resonate with that completely. I I don't know if those of you who watch my readings, um, I do resonate with part one quite a lot. Um, <laughs> I always wish that I'm part three, but I, I, I resonate with part one, and um, yeah, I kind of I kind of feel like I'm quite efficient in my approach with my spirituality and also with my spiritual work. I like to go in there, get it done, and um you know in the best possible way so with that being said that's the first card that we have here so we'll just place that there and then i'll have a look at your other oracle cards so then we've got wow the lover right okay amazing love that part one. Oh, the reddening god i'm feeling passion already take that as you will um <laughs> oh honesty wow i'm loving this part one and cancer i feel and satin the truth oh loving this right okay let me see that can be yeah so we've got enough room there and then enough room there i like it when it works out like that okay cool right so off the bat, your soul is... Oh, God, this is such a beautiful Saturn card. I love that. I've got a bit of an affinity with Saturn. I don't know about you, but, like, lots of people think that Saturn is all hard work. It It is. But then again, like, we don't really get anywhere unless we, we actually do involve ourselves within hard work. And I think... I think this is helping you to love yourself a bit more within the space of who you are. Your soul, I feel, is giving you an opportunity to allow yourself to, to enjoy the process of the work. The, the thing I'm getting with reddening, like, the, the main thing with here is I'm getting, like, the reddening of the cheeks. So when, you know, something happens, so you either have some kind of, like, physical exercise or you either get and i'm sorry there is a very strong sexual undertone i'm feeling with these three i don't know why i'm just getting a bit get a bit oh you know it's a bit like oh it's 
getting quite hot. And then that is exactly what reddening is. It's that whole, um, you know, the blood rushing up to the surface, things engorging, things becoming bigger, things getting redder, you getting out of breath, you know, that kind of thing. It's really interesting. Um, and, you know, there's there's that purity of honesty here as well, where you've got, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So you know where you're at with yourself. And with cancer being there, as an, I feel there's a real sense of emotional purity and also emotional nurturing that you understand yourself where you are at this time. And what your soul is saying to you and, and, and telling you is that your clarity in doing this with the respect of the assassin and what I'm being drawn to is this third eye within this skull you it's almost like a passion for you to make sure that you're doing this right you know um with this Saturn card it's also six which is the number of the lovers we've got cancer I feel which is seven um we've got here which is 15 that iosis that's another six so interesting and then we've got six seven eight so we've got eight here so i mean you know we've got six seven eight so a really nice progression in the higher numbers that kind of give you an idea that you are in this process of maturity in respect to how you view your soul how you view things um and your soul is actually wanting to congratulate you for that. It's actually wanting to say, you know, well done. It's so amazing that you're at this point and I love you for it. And please love yourself as well because you deserve that. You deserve those pearls of gold that you've, you know, and it's really interesting. We've got this gold kind of ball here and it's a pearl. And then we've also got these kind of like golden pearls here. So it's almost like you've... Like, I don't think a gold pearl exists. I think like yellowy pearls exist, but not as gold as that. So what I get from that is that you have been able to achieve some kind of understanding with your soul that's really advanced and is allowing you to um, is allowing you to to kind of go to a level within yourself that really helps you to appreciate where you've been where you come from, what you're doing, you know, it really helps. It really, really helps. So well done you, part one. I really like that. I really like that a lot. It's a beautiful start. The, another thing that I'm getting here is the, the snake. Like this is almost like a kundalini. So it's the kundalini rising through the chakras and upwards. And then you've also got this kind of like beautiful neck of the, the swan. So there's something that's saying that you really... There may be like some kind of form of you loving yourself in, in such a beautiful way. Um, and I don't know, like the more I do this sort of work, um, the like spiritual work that I do, it just makes sense that the more mature you are on this path, the more you get from it. You know, the less you kind of are reactive, and you kind of like don't give a toss about anything, it just really fits into place. Everything kind of just, you know, allow, like it just flows, really flows. And what I'm seeing here is like, you know, you may not be there 100%, right? But there is something here that your soul is saying that you're, you're definitely on the right path. And this reddening, it's almost like, it's like allowing yourself to feel the fruit of your, uh, of your, like the gains of your work here. Yeah, it's really great. Really like it. I'm yawning, which means that the spirit is coming through. I'm not tired at all. <laughs> I don't know why. Whenever I do readings, I just yawn now. I'm like, I, please don't think that I'm being rude. I'm really not. Okay. okay so messages from your soul messages emerging signs emerging from your soul part one signs emerging from part one soul the world reversed the ten of swords okay i see what's going on here justice Imagination.
the Four of Swords, Six Cards for You, and Duality. So we've already got like three. Is it three? No, one, one, two. We've got, we've got two of the major arcana. We've all, well, we've actually got one, two, three, four major arcana, and two of them are the extra cards. Um, so we've got duality and imagination. Now, I think this this reading is serving as a reminder to you. So your soul is reminding you about to 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 love your journey, to love yourself, to love who you are, because. I don't know, like, there's this element of me that's thinking that you're feeling that, is this going to be over? It's never over. This is just a consistent battle. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere on this plane. Um, the Ten of Swords, it's that kind of, like, dramatic over... Sorry. This dramatic kind of over exaggeration about your situation. Now, I don't think that it comes from nowhere I, I i understand it comes from a place where you feel that you haven't been you haven't been heard or you haven't been it, it comes from a place where you feel like you need to right wrongs and that's absolutely fine um but what your soul is saying to you is that you know uh there's some there's some need for your imagination to come back into play i don't know if you do any kind of like dream work or any kind of journaling something where you do something free form so there's something called working with active imagination which is a Jungian technique uh carl Jung. if you have a look into that technique that will help you like to be to be able to to kind of like let go because there just seems like this kind of like tight grip that you've got on particularly with saturn being there and cancer is also a little bit like that and there's just this sense of like, you know, holding on to something. And I do, I am also feeling the essence of the embarrassment more than anything within that card, like with that reddening, like, you know, the flushed cheeks of embarrassment. So why, why are you embarrassed? Like there's no need for you to be embarrassed about this beautiful journey that you've been on. And your soul is reminding you that you, you have done this in such a beautiful way no matter what you think like about like what your brain is trying to like tell you about how you've lived your life or what you've done you've actually done it in a really really good way this is so resonant for me by the way um <laughs> like you you know and and also kind of the 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 theme of duality is quite present as well because if we feel that we're separated or apart from other things, then of course there's going to be that sense of us feeling lonely, other, embarrassed, you know, that, that kind of separation that comes with that discernment that comes from Saturn. And it's almost like, it's almost like there's a possibility that the truth of the situation may even act as its own barrier where you're like stopping yourself from allowing to embrace the messages of your soul, to embrace the messages of your true divine in yourself, you know, who you are, what you've really provided to this situation, how you've lived your life, how you've done things, how you've walked through this life, taken each step as it comes and not really allowing yourself to, to really enjoy the the you know, the journey and smell the roses, to be honest with you. That's that's what I'm getting from here. That your soul is saying to you, please just just do that. Remember that. Please remember that. Um Four of Swords, I did that's why I said about dreams. Dreams might be a good segue for you. Um, but it's when you're resting. I don't know if you meditate. Meditate is going to be really meditation is going to be very important for you as well. So that you can understand these concepts because I do think that you're you're kind of, there is this sense of you thinking, oh my God, is it is it over? Is it ever going to be over? I keep on going through this thing. I keep on doing this thing. I keep on like, I keep on walking this path and it doesn't seem to get any better, but it, you you know, you're wrong or you're right, whether or not you, you believe that or not, you know, it's just really important for you to, to kind of remember that, you know, it's you and your glasses that are going to be on your eyes when you're, while you're walking this journey. So it's important for you to like really um, oversee that, you know, you're looking at it with a sense of love and compassion towards yourself. We've got two cards for truth here, you know, um, like honesty, and then we've got truth. So there's a way of being able to frame the truth, right? There is a way of being able to frame it. Um, you know, you don't have to castrate yourself every time with the truth. And Saturn is a bit like that. 
it kind of like stops you know you're like oh but it's the truth this is the way it is and it's like yeah but like what are we going to do we're we going to look at it like through through that like kind of cold dark or gray kind of um you know kind of uh uh lens or are we going to look at it in a way that's going to help us to to look at it in a much better way you know, to look at the, the things that we can be grateful for, you know, that's why we have things such as gratitude journals or things like that. And it's not just to, to kind of like go all fluffy and to make it, oh yeah, like we're going to look at everything in like fluffy rainbows and unicorns. It's not just about that. It's about, it's about how we can frame ourselves to appreciate the things that, you know, we have done, we have achieved. I don't know, you may have been in a place where you feel, and I think with this world and Ten of Swords, you may have felt like you were a bit down about where you were. So let's see, clarification of the world, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Interesting how we have this world here. Uh, by the way, I'm using the uh, Ethereal, oh, get, sorry, Organic Elements deck, and I'm using True Black, the limit, yeah, True Black uh, with the clarification so um it's interesting how we've got this world here and then we've also got this here I'm trying to think is that the moon it's really interesting and then we've got bees buzzing around it so it, it i mean it is a balancing act yeah you can't you can't run away from it it is a balancing act you're keeping things in balance and maybe i don't know maybe you're bored with it you know I wouldn't be surprised, you know, maybe, you know, sometimes, and I'm not saying that this is what you're going through, but sometimes when there's drama or something to like work through, that's tough. Sometimes that can be exciting. Um, I remember when I was doing this job, um, when I used to be an actor, you, there, there was something that was called like a role play, like work role play. <laughs> which is what the majority of actors do actually they get it's very well paid and they do role play situations for companies where you know we we enact certain situations so they'll do like medical role play legal role play so that like the barristers or the people in training can actually understand what it's like to to actually function in a real case or in a real situation so i did something similar um for um airline security and uh, one of the situations was was a situ like a situation that involved like a really long process. It involved like it was about a ten hour, twelve hour exercise. And um, I remember one thing that my teacher or my my boss said to me, and he said like people think that these kind of situations, when they happen on the news, they're very exciting, but actually there's a lot of waiting around. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff where nothing happens and that's what's going on so i don't know if like you're thinking because nothing is happening um you're thinking that you know that's something is wrong and i think because we're cultured at the moment like there's there's so much social media there's so much kind of uh like prodding in terms of a reactive response in order to show that we're you know engaged consistently that it gets really tiring when back in the day really you just go off and do what you're doing and then you'd have time to actually like be able to create something and do something um so so maybe it's there's a bit of that going on like you're thinking that like there may be some comparison going on particularly with that ten of swords and that two of pentacles so so just just be aware of that your soul is telling you that you don't need to do that your soul is telling you that actually you you know you're beautiful just the way you are and then we've got the page of swords here clarifying the yeah i wouldn't be see look page of swords so i mean if you are comparing yourself to like online or to others to things that you see this is like not focusing on your own stuff which is really important like i think it's you know it, it means that there's the, the comparison comparison is the thief of all joy you know so do remember that and it's interesting we have it on top of the ten of swords so your soul is reminding you for that okay so yeah high priestess for this one for justice okay so with the high priestess what i'm seeing here um with justice is that there is it's almost like 
you know that this is something that's detrimental but it's almost like you can't help but fall to it you do you do know the path you do understand it um and also you know that you have to kind of keep on top of it um and there has to be something where the thing that's really getting me here is that even though her legs are on show her legs are quite tight together kind of opposite to the feeling that i got when i you know, when I first saw those th three cards, like there was a very sensual sexual feeling here with the high priestess. It's like, you know, no. So so this says to me that there is there has to be some kind of like guided control about what you're doing. Um, there has to be some kind of like discipline in that respect so that you can uh, you can navigate the the messages and also the territory better rather than getting lost and what i'm seeing here which is really interesting we've got this kind of like this kind of like map here i'm just going to double check because the artist tells you about like what that means so let me just see what that means okay so this here this map is the mariana trench this is a topography of the mariana trench which is the deepest point in the world um so i mean this kind of tells you that you you really need to like be disciplined if you want to explore these kind of territories which i feel like you do there's there's something you, you need to you need to proceed with caution you can't just you know you can't just expect that you know it can be approached that way. There may be that other side of it where you are ex you are exhibiting like an intense amount of, of precaution, particularly with that assassin card. Um, and then there's just a need to kind of go into this place where you're just, you know, you're allowing yourself to have some sensuality. I am seeing the pomegranate here though, and we didn't get the, we didn't get the empress, which is kind of the more evoking of the love. So what i'm getting here is that there is this there's this need to focus if you're going to go deep in deep in diving if you're going to go dive deeply if you're going to go diving at a depth then you're going to need to kind of be disciplined about it and i think you you are i think you do understand that But you don't need to be miserable. I feel like, you need, you know, it's okay. Wow, strength. So, that is strength, or is it six of wands? No, that's six of wands, sorry. Six of wands with imagination. So, what I'm getting here is that the ego is getting in the way. The ego is getting a little bit in the way. So, don't, so honestly, don't think that because like you've achieved some kind of status or something. And that's what I saw when I saw this card and I saw that hat. I was like, I, I don't know if I like that hat. And now I know why I don't like it because it's a, a symbol of colonialism. And, uh, you know, I, this is mine. But really, who is the king? The king is really the lion. But yet we have this here and we also have a knife here. So, what that says to me is that you, the the right brain is ruling over the left brain, and you can't be doing that when you're dealing with with messages from the soul. It doesn't work that way. Um, you know this though, but the ego is getting a little bit in the way. So just watch that. Now, ego can either. I mean, in this aspect, I'm seeing it as the ego. I mean, it could be either way, but I, I'm seeing it as like, maybe you think that you've done this work. Maybe you think that you're, you're, you're so much of an adept that, you know, you don't need to do this or you don't need to prepare yourself or you don't need to, you don't need to function in a, in a particular way. I don't know what it is, but something is blocking your imagination. And that's why I said like work with active imagination, work with dream space, work with something that's going to help you to unlock that side of yourself. But there's something going on here with this six of wands where you think that you've, you think that you've achieved it, but I don't, I don't think you have. Emperor, yeah, yeah, definitely. And then that's a uh, four of swords. And then we've got this. Uh... So 
what your soul is saying to you or the messages that are emerging from your soul is 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 really interesting you're starting to uncover like dormant dormant traits that have traveled down from the father line i think something that has happened in that respect because then that that adds to this and it's all coming up to the surface like i think you're you, i think this is part of the process um and one thing i just realized is that an emperor would never let himself see, be seen as embarrassed like it would be too detrimental to his character to his um to his ego to be seen as someone who is embarrassed so or be in a state of vulnerability so that's something to think about there it is it is crossing the four of or on top of the four of swords so I'm just thinking that this might be something that's dormant, that's under the surface, that you may be discovering recently. And just to... Okay. Oh, we've got two here, so you can have two. And then we've got the Seven of Swords reversed with that amazing knife. And then we have the Hermit reversed. Yeah, I mean... I think you know that you've got a bit more work to do, but there's, you, you know, you, you may you may not feel like you've got enough time to do it. So what I would encourage you, part one, is to just take moments when you can. Just take moments when you can, you know. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. Take your time to uh, kind of integrate moments of vulnerability into your daily life. You know, if you are feeling vulnerable at times, just notice those beautiful moments where you are and, and work with them. So we've got you some um, animal guide energy. Rhinoceros, moderation. Interesting. That's really interesting. Because maybe there's some kind of like blockage that's kind of going on in the respect. Like you may be either working too much. You may be either doing something that's like feeding this kind of sense of ego. Because this is very temporal. This is not, um, like it is successful, but it's, it's temporal. It's very temporal. And you want something long lasting, particularly when it's in relation with your soul. Um, and then let's have a look at this. Hanuman. Oh, wow. I love that. So let me just check here. That's too much. Okay, so Hanuman is um, Hanuman is the uh, god that was looking after um, Rama, and you know he devoted his life to Rama, and he is just a devotee. He is a, a pure devotee, a devotee god of Rama, and the story of his loyalty is so beautiful. Um, he's also a protector god of males, um, specifically, and it's just really nice that he's turned up here because it almost shows that your integrity is what's going to help you win out this, this kind of next, next, uh, leg of this journey that is going on. And, um, Hanuman's strength is very strong with you, with the, uh, with the, soul so the soul is connecting with that playfulness but also that devotion that commitment you know it seems like you do have the commitment to like certain things but there's something about like uh, you need to bring both sides together rather than rather than uh i'm just like oh it's messed up my <laughs> messed up my uh my lovely spread um but yeah, there's that sense of like you really understanding how um, you can bring the both sides together. So the sun and the moon as well. And not just having the sun, not just having the moon, but both elements, both sides. We've got past, present and future. Interesting. So there's something about your your past, present and future that's really important for you to like ascertain to where you are now. Um, you weren't who you were in your past and you're going to be somebody different in your future. So I think that's really important to recognize. Wow, Archangel Jophiel, illumination, creativity and, authentic and being authentic. I think that, you know, this, this theme and resonance of truth and... Um, 
being honest with oneself, being authentic is something that's quite prevalent within your reading and uh, your your soul is saying to you, please do keep on being authentic, but please do continue to love yourself by remaining illuminated and by being creative. And then the last card here, which is Vertex, Celebration and Recognition. So, honour your soul, bestow virtue to those who fathom your value. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Value yourselves, pile one. That's what this is saying. Value your work, value what you've done, value this, this, this thing that you've done, this work that you've done. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be so brutal. Um, there's a sense of you being kind to yourself, understanding yourself, recognizing yourself, um, being at peace with yourself, um, with this kind of like way that you've come so far. Um, and I know it's hard. I know it's hard to like to be that way and um, to to congratulate yourself. Um, I do also get the sense that there were sometimes when people like congratulate you, it's pr quite difficult to accept, accept the love. Please do, please do accept it because it's calling you and it's your soul is asking you, please accept this love because I need it. I need it. Part one, what an honor. Love that reading. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. But my darlings, what a pleasure it was to read for you. Thank you for letting me do so. And bringing your beautiful energy to this reading. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Check out um, my other videos in the playlist. Also, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Hit me up for a personal reading if you wish. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. So you chose fate. The fate, right? Not just fate, but the fate. So... I feel that if messages from your soul is, are coming up or signs from your soul are coming up, you, you kind of like leave it to fate. You, 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 you feel that not only do you not seek them out, but you also let them come to you. You let them rise to the surface. You let, them, you, you let it come to you. But I also do feel that you may feel that you are um, subject to the messages themselves. So there's a certain degree of control that's going on here um, where you're, you're allowing yourself to be controlled in that respect. So that's an interesting start, part two. Interesting, okay. The Unseen. Okay. Wow. The alchemical wedding. Oh my god. That's amazing. I did get I, I'm I'm not going to lie. I did get like a sense of of kind of the male female, the sun, the moon. There's some kind of we can see like this kind of like these these two elements, the yin and the yang. It's interesting perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to wow void of course moon okay right so the void of course moon is when the moon kind of goes into a space where it's in between signs um it's not quite it's not quite registered in one sign or in the other it's kind of it's moving in between so yeah, there's this there's this kind of surrender that's going on in the respect of this um, of this kind of of what the soul is is saying to you. Um, there's a feeling that you may be at the mercy of it, which I don't know. I'm not really. I don't know how you feel about that, but I don't really feel great about it. <laughs> I don't really like I like to know what's going on um and there's but I think you're understanding that this is a this is a, a point where 
If you don't know what's happening and you don't know what's going on, that's okay. I mean, we've got 27 here. So 27, that's nine. We've got um, 60 here. So six and nine, seven, six, nine, seven. Okay, interesting. So there's some kind of elements where you understand things are coming to a close, but there's almost like this sense of that, that you're at a point where you can't do anything about it. You have to you have to just allow it to be what it's going to be. I'm just having a look at what this is. Um, it's almost like this sense of, of of being one with something, kind of understanding something intimately without being involved with it. And um, that that kind of comes here with this void of course as well. Um, it's also understanding that it may happen for you within time. It might not happen immediately. Um, it's, I mean, this sign here is about presence and acceptance. That's the main thing I'm getting here. And even though you... Okay, so the messages from the soul is, is that actually the fate the and and this just reflects my own kind of telling of this reading to you but leave it to fate actually it's actually the opposite of what i initially said so it's it's leaving it to fate it's leaving it to the unseen it's leaving it to that space where you don't know what's going to happen and you're just going to have to just allow it <laughs> um as much as you want to know what's going on and i think it was very telling in the respect of like where i was like when i was when i started to talk to you about it um so maybe that's a reflection in the respect of you know how you may be feeling you may be thinking i i don't know what's going on and it's really quite frustrating but there's something that's telling you that i don't know i feel like you're a step ahead of me pal too i feel like you you've 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 got that understanding and your soul is telling you like just trust just trust in it trust in the unseen trust in trust in persevering with me trust in persevering that fate is the way because the alchemical wedding is very much about you trusting that and the void of course is it's gone missing so you know you've got all these cards which are saying to you this is you're not going to know what's going on you're not going to know what's happening no matter how much you want to try and like figure it out, it's just not going to happen. You just have to have faith that it is going to work out, if that's okay. What does Pile Two's Soul? What messages are emerging from Pile Two's Soul? So we have Mother, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Four of Swords reversed, we have the Empress. Interesting. Thank you. And you are wanted six. Um, two of wands and the five of swords. Reversed. Okay, so... The thing that's coming to me immediately is... Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of attachment styles. Attachment styles um, are styles of relating interpersonally with other people um, and how these styles um, arise from our relationships with our caregivers. So what I'm seeing here is that you were in a space where maybe you weren't trusted by your maternal caregiver um it is as specific as that you know there was this kind of like sense of like really you know it, th this sense of unseen it was unheard of like that this is something that you don't i don't think you would have been able to allow yourself to do now it could be either one of two things actually it could be that you you were completely kind of controlled so then you've gone the other way and you've been like right i'm leaving everything up to fate or I am under some kind of oppression. So this is the way I am. And this is kind of like seeped into my programming of being as I've gone on. Um, and it, what, what's really interesting is that you seem to have been put into situations 
that have consistently tested that, that have made you think, okay, right, actually, I have to just let it go. I really do have to just let it go. Um, I don't know if you distract yourself by keeping busy. Um, and kind of focusing on this building of, uh, of stability. Um, yeah, because there's this sense of like the five of swords. So we're looking at fixed air, fixed air is Aquarius. So that's Aquarius. Um, it's a very determined energy. Like it's a very kind of, and it's the moon and Aquarius. No, five. It's the Mars and Aquarius. So Venus. So Venus and Aquarius, Mars and in in Aries. Interesting. So with the aspects of Venus being in Aquarius, but it's been reversed. It just kind of like says that there's this determination to kind of. It's it's. There's almost something totalitarian going on here. It's when I when I say totalitarian, it means that you like you you like things you like to be in control. There's a big element of control here, and you won't take no for an answer. And you've got the Empress reverse, and you've got Mother reverse. So it means that there there was some kind of oppression from the Mother line in a really big way, and it happened on on various scales. So it happened maybe her mother was like that. So there's something generationally that's going on here. And I don't know, it feels like you're the one to break it. And I think it's because you keep on getting, you you keep on being put, your soul is saying that, and, and, and giving you the message that you are the one to like, you're, you're the one to sort this out, to break this apart, to work this out. That's really interesting. And I think like from this Knight of Cups, energy I don't know I'm seeing a woman I'm not seeing a man I'm seeing like even though it's male energy I'm seeing a female form coming forward but behaving in a masculine way so what but then you've got like these kind of not well aspected females so it's almost like seeing the feminine within a male is going to be what, or it may be, a, it may be somebody who's male and, and has got very strong female qualities, but it's seeing the, yeah, I think it might be that, seeing the element within a male that's going to help you to kind of connect deeply to yourself. Because this marriage can't happen if this is all going on. Um... Both sides need to be in symbiosis, in synchronicity with each other. They need to be in balance with each other. And this doesn't indicate balance at all. This indicates like whew, some kind of imbalance. Hmm, interesting. I am getting a sense of impatience here as well. So that's why perseverance is there. Let's see what the other cards have to say. Interesting message. Hermit. So, I don't know if you're in a relationship or if you're single, but I just get the impression that you feel maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit alone. You feel quite alone in the aspect of um yeah you feel maybe a little bit alone in that aspect of uh being um in working through this bear with me one second my friends yeah i think i'm seeing some kind of stubbornness here pile two sorry to say um, I do get like a bit of a Cancerian vibe, even though we didn't get Cancer. But I got that initially. I got that here, and then we've got two um, two uh, cards of the Mother, Empress, and the Mother. And then we've got this Hermit card. It's a crab, isn't it? Hermit is a crab. Like, <laughs> like yeah, it's this retreat of being in the shell, of not being able to be open with one's emotions. Wow, you got the High Priestess reversed as well. Sorry, High Priestess. 
like the like part one so that's covering the knight of cups and then you've also got the high priestess this high priestess i found out in the last reading that this is a, a an overlay of the um the map of the mariana trench which is the deepest point in the on this planet so there is something that you're going to have to go in deep in order to make this alchemical wedding happen you're going to have to go deep and you're going to have to allow yourself to kind of sink. I just got an image of like someone allowing themselves to like go to the bottom. Like just letting themselves kind of like just sink down that space. Um, let's have a look. Because this four of swords is not reversed. It is, it's reversed. So it, there's meaning some kind of like active, active activity. So what, how many have we got here? We've got four. No, we've got five. All right, I'll take it. Um, so we've got the Nine of Cups, Four of Swords. Okay. So there's something about you being quite busy in like in function in functioning in the three D and and you know manifesting your your financial security. Um, and that's kind of whereas like that that's why you're like oh I'll just leave that. But I don't know like. In you leaving it, it's almost like its own block. I'm just... There's something that's not very clear here. I'm sorry, part two. It's just taken me a while to decipher the message. Four of Cups. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a block here. There's a block to you receiving the messages. And I think it's because your focus is on what you believe that the material world is expecting of you. Four of Cups means that there's this sense of not being able to look at the opportunity that is in front of us. And there is something to learn here. And your soul is saying that there's another step that you need to take in that. Can you tell me more? Three of Cups. You may go out quite a lot with friends. And then that may be your your life and you think, yeah, that's that's I don't need to be with anyone. I can just be with my friends and I can just do social situations. But there's something that, that in itself you're missing a trick. Is that what you want? Like, I'm not saying that everybody wants relationships, of course not. But like, I don't think you want to be alone. But there is some work that needs to be done alone, like not not with distractions. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Five of Swords. The material is very much an important part of like you stabilizing yourself, Paul Two. Um, so there's something very male dominated. I've just got a feeling that the, these females that were here, they had a really male kind of strong energy, and then that's confused you. That's what it feels like. And your soul is saying to you that you need to trust. You have to trust in something that you can't make out, that you can't see, that you can't tell. And the sun. And then that you'll be truly happy in that respect. Don't give up, though. I don't think you are going to give up. I think that you're going to continue. But, like, it, this is a continual, this is a perseverance of faith. Yeah, it's a perseverance of faith. When you don't know what's happening, when you don't know what's going on, when you don't know how to work things through, when you aren't hearing any messages, when you aren't hearing anything, when you're not getting anything, you're like, what am I doing? I don't hear any divine guidance. I don't hear any of this stuff. Where is it? And then it's like, okay, I'm going to fill my, my life with things that, you know, I know I can get a definite answer from. Your soul is saying to you, no, can you like, can you listen to me a little bit more, please? Can you, can you listen a bit more? Can you trust that, 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 that this void of course and this inaction is actually great action that is occurring underneath the surface? That's what this is saying. And I think that you have to be alone to, to discern these messages because it's almost like you, you take like what you get from your experiences with other people because i don't know that four of cups 
you know, in that four of cups, we see a three of cups. We see a three of cups. He's there. He's got the three of cups and he's like, yeah, that's fine. I don't need the fourth cup. But the divine is offering you that fourth cup and you're not looking at it. Which is, this is why this isn't the ten of cups and it's the nine. And you're just there in this nice little thing with surrounded by all your gold and your money. It's very cold. I feel a bit cold. That's why I'm glad the sun's come in. And I mean, there is this sense of happiness, but there's this, there's just something more. It's a feigned happiness. It's not real. It's not, I'm not that it's not real. It's just like it's, it's face, it's image. It's something that's not, you know, that looks good, but actually it's not as good as you want it to be. There's actually like a deep want for something more. And I don't think that you're, I don't think that you're going to stop or relent until you get it. I don't think you will, but there is there is some issues with with kind of working through that. So your soul, your, the signs that are emerging from your soul is to keep on trusting or to continue having faith and perseverance in the unknown and what you can't see. Um, okay. Wow. So Rusty, um, I... I can't remember what that means, so I'm going to look it up and get back to you. Wow, beautiful message with Sarasti. Um, Sarasti, it's it's a divine message that something has come to you. So, do you know what, right? I think that this lack of anything happening is actually a divine message to you. It is the message. Just stay with me on this. Like, I think it's, I think it's like the divine message. That's why I was getting confused because I was like, what, what, what is it? Like, can you just show it to me, please? And then it's like, no, that is, that is the message, Rena. Um, so, so yeah, and it's almost what I'm getting is, it's like, it's almost like it's a blank canvas. It's a blank slate. It's something for you to really kind of like grow upon because you kind of understand what you've done in the 3d and now it's like what next how can i move forward how can i how can i go how can i yeah well how can i go forward how, how can i move on to the next step so yeah really interesting okay some uh animal guide snake creation wow that is also creation so there's something about you um I don't know if you like have something nice that you can do in the meantime while you're, you know, t t busy or occupy your mind, whatever it is that you feel that you could do to kind of like help yourself to connect with this creative space with this cup. Um, that's going to and, 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 you know, during this time of like. Uh, during this time of um, of, of unknownness of, of, you know where you don't know what's happening, then that's going to really help you. Um, and it's also going to be, there's going to be something very special about it as well. Truth. Be true in all that you do. Eagle may also be a animal for you. So you've got your snake and your eagle here. It's very uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I'm, I'm feeling like what does this mean <laughs> like you know i'm feeling that and what i'm getting from you know messages from your soul or um signs from the soul is that the unknown holds all the answers that you need so paradoxical isn't it but it's what the cards are saying pile two wow joy okay right so and i'm i'm feeling that this needs to be joy alone it can't be joy with other people because i feel like you I feel like you're already with other people. Like you already know about that with other people. You already know about that sense of joy with other people. This is about understanding yourself better. And you may have already done that. You may have been like, but I spent so much time alone, Rena. Well, then what I would say is that understand how you function within situations and then take that back to kind of like reassess it and see what's going on there. Like see what is it that you need. It's a tough journey. This is not easy. I did say that these, these, these readings are not going to be easy. Okay, and then you've got Algon. Algol. I think, I think this is Medusa. I'm not sure. <clears throat> 
But you've got defense and alliance. Protect yourself from those who do not wish you well, yet offer your help to those who most need it. So we're back in this space. And what is it? That's Jupiter and Saturn in Taurus. So, you know, you've got this thing of where it's this kind of like push and pull. And we've seen this throughout the entire reading where you've got this, you, you have to understand that you don't know what's going to happen, but you have, but there's this stability that you're building and you're kind of, uh, you're kind of making sure that you have it. And I mean, you know, kudos to you. That's, that's a tough place to be. It's not easy. But I think that the main things are with you finding joy in what you're doing, also with maintaining the creativity, understanding that you don't know that that final destination. And I mean, you know, if you look at it on a global scale, we are facing things that are just so uncertain. We just don't know what's happening from one day to the next. We have no idea. In the UK, we have leaders in power that we never even elected. So, and then they're passing laws that we don't even, you know, we're not having any say about it. We're having a, a company of a very small amount of mainly men, um, men who have a say in our freedoms and our rights. And this is a really interesting thing, you know, how do you manage your own stability within a space like this? What I'm, what I'm getting here is that you, you know how to do this. Um, you know how to manage that, but there's something to do with the creativity side of it that, that like, I don't know, I get this sense, like almost like if like the maternal figures have like said, you know, you have to prepare for the worst, <coughs> you have to make sure that you are, you know, you've got everything prepared. It's almost like you're so prepared for the worst that now it's time to allow yourself to succumb and surrender to the unknown. So that's what um, the signs I'm reading from your soul, part two, um, the signs that are emerging from your soul. Wasn't an easy one, I'm going to tell you that, but um, I, think, I think it's a necessary one. Um, and I mean, it's, I think it's difficult for me because it is unseen, <laughs> so... But I hope that helps. I hope you made some sense of that. Um, uh, if you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. But otherwise, my darlings, you take care. Um, I'm sending you lots of love. Thank you for persevering with, with me in this reading. It was pretty hard. But um, yeah, anyway, take care. Have a beautiful day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hi, Pal 3. Welcome to your reading. So what signs are emerging from your soul? So you've got the air. There's a responsibility that's coming to you, pile three. Typical pile three vibes. Um, yeah, there's some kind of responsibility that's coming. Your, your soul is saying, get ready to receive this crown. Get ready to receive this. Hold your arms and hands open in order to receive this message, please. Um, it's going to be really important for you to do that. Wow, the oil of vitriol. Crack and start, 35. Oh, God, Alethea. Wow. Gosh, doesn't get more epic than that, pile two, uh, pile three. Trust and envy reversed. Nice. I'm the same as everybody else, but with different challenges. It's reversed. I think I don't. And I remember when I was uh, shuffling the cards, I was thinking that's that's the opposite of that. I think people might envy you. And last but not least. Wow. Mars. Okay. Beautiful. Wow, part three, cracking, love this. The soul is like, I've saved the best to last. No, no, no favoritism, I'm just saying. Um, like, <laughs> um, so what I'm getting from this is that there is, um, there's a big thing, a big message that's coming to you, um, part three, that's saying for you to embrace the truth and to trust 
um, that what is coming to you is is your inner voice, the 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 spark within you, the force within you. Um, even though it may feel really difficult at times to be able to listen to that voice. Um, please do listen to it. Now, the oil of vitriol is this kind of... Um, and because it's interesting how it got placed next to envy, I do feel like the words of others may affect you. We'll see more with the tarot, but like, you know, it's that thing where people put you down because they sometimes see people in another space or another place or of a different league. And what they do is they want to put that person down. Um they want to they want they want to do what they can in order to kind of almost dethrone the person um and because you kind of stand for this element of truth and trust um and you're quite intentional with it um it creates this you know it's almost like the the power of the force that's going on here creates the intensity of this which is that intensity of that oil of vitriol which is very very um, corrosive so um, I did hear tread carefully your soul did say that um, but um, but trust that you're on the right path trust that you yeah that you're on the right path let's see and Mars is a warrior you know it's the warrior god it's the warrior planet so let's see what it has to say Just pop that over there, otherwise I'll get that mixed up. Okay. Okay, so we've got the Seven of Swords. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, fire. Oh my god, Four of Swords came up for all everybody's reading. Okay. But yours came up reversed. Same luck pile two. Okay. People are intimidated by you, Pile 3. Big time. Two of Swords. Interesting. You have to hold your tongue. You can't say what you want to say. Four of Wands. Wow. Having to sustain situations which you don't really appreciate. And the Six of Cups. Wow. But you stay there because you wish that you kind of, you know, you want to kind of regain that, that, that sense of... There was something there, like maybe, you know, you could be involved with like a group of friends or something like that, that really, the, the, you know, they're old friends. Like people, it's interesting how many people stay within like their social groups because they're old friends or they're like, you know, I've, I've been friends with these people for ages or whatever, honestly. People change, people grow, people develop, people turn into other things, they become other things, they, they work in other ways, they start to they start to realise that the patterning that they started off with in this life is not the same as what they want to do now, so therefore if they change then usually the external circumstances have to change as well. Um, so, and people don't like that. And that's what's happening here. I mean this is what I definitely see with this here, it's definitely like... I, you know, it may even be that you kind of come up with ideas and stuff like that within your group and then they just dismiss you. And that four of wands is just a real lack of stability, but you kind of like, you know, that two, that six of cups, it's almost like maintaining that you did have a nice relationship with these people. What I'm seeing now is I'm just seeing like this sense of, I'm seeing like, you know, being with a group of friends. Bear with me one second. Yeah, it's the scenario of where, like, you're with a group of friends um, and you've just outgrown them. In fact, you've risen above them and they don't want it. They don't want that. Who wants that? Who wants to see that their friends have become better than them? I personally, I love it because it means that, like, you know, I kind of think, wow, my friend's amazing and I feel so honoured to know them. But, like, that takes a lot of stuff. Like, I don't think, like, many people would be happy. It seems like right now, with this oil, this is like a really toxic card. Um, so people are jealous. So jealous. You've got the Seven of Swords here. People, people chat. They chat. They're very jealous. Watch yourself, man. Like, seriously, watch, watch, watch this. 
because I don't know people get envious of weird things weird things speaking from experience here like it's it's just they 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 they're really jealous of your spark and your truth and maybe even your life and your soul is saying don't worry it's okay you got this so okay that's all well and good soul but like what um what is path three going to do about this how are they going to like equip themselves and like help themselves in this space it's part of your growth i just heard so it's part of you understanding your boundaries that's interesting wow nine of wands i love this nine of wands it perfectly i think it's really perfect it's reversed so oh god so what i see that as is people are, the, are giving you the impression that they are not feeling that way towards you but they actually are we don't have any court cards here so i don't know i feel like this is a general feeling i think you evoke this in people and that's their fault not yours world ace of wands you know what yeah you provide some kind of you really make them see their inadequacies i'm sorry i'm not laughing because of that. i'm just laughing because it's just quite it's quite amazing um and it's very difficult to be around somebody and i'm not talking about somebody who just mouths off and like tells you things you know um, i'm talking about somebody who in their essence of being they just help you to they reveal to you um they reveal to you things about yourself that you know you might not have wanted to face you might have like you know you just don't want to face so for example you're in a work situation and uh, you're the new kid on the block or you're like somebody who's been working in this place and this position for a long time actually yeah let's go with that example you've been working in this position for a long time and you have all of a sudden decided to start up your own um like cake making business on the side and because you've decided to do that it's something that brings you like a lot of joy and you know all of this and then all of a sudden you manage to like get a hold of like a bakery right and it's an amazing bakery you know it's got everything all the mod cons everything and then you're all ready to go so you have managed to work out a plan where you can like you can work in the bakery and do this stuff or like you can get people to work for you. You, you you've worked it out so that you can like start to make a transition from your old job into your new job and you've done this because you've been quite active you know you've but you haven't been able to tell anybody but you've been very active you've been like doing what you need to do um or maybe you got given like some kind of inheritance from maybe a parent or an aunt, or whatever. You you received some kind of like lump sum that allowed you to be able to purchase that bakery. People are hating on you for it. People are hating on you because they're saying, oh, wow. So that's really lucky that they got to do that. And then they're making excuses the whole time. And these are people that you've worked with like the whole time. Like you've worked with, you you know, you maybe work like 10 years in this job and then people are there and then they're doing their thing and they haven't moved on. But then when they hear about you, they're like, oh, that's really nice. And oh, yeah, that sounds really lovely. And they're saying that to your face. But they're really actually thinking what an idiot you are for making a bakery or like going and baking cakes or baking bread or doing something like a bakery rather than like staying with the job that you've got so that's an example of what like i think is going on um it could be happening with family or work um i don't see it really with love wow the fool the four of swords you're making you're making a real jump into the unknown and god does it make them itchy Look at that, you've got the world and then you've got the fool. 
you really are moving on with this kind of sense of beauty and vulnerability and um yeah it's just really rubbing people up the wrong way it's quite it's quite impressive <laughs> your soul is saying keep going <laughs> wow the emperor two of swords so what i'm getting here is that you're being very steadfast um you're actually behaving full-on like an emperor you are you're kind of creating this sense of stability you're also creating your kingdom and you know it's that thing keep your plans close to your chest you know um and that's what you're doing you know that but you've got this beautiful energy of 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 you know of newness of understanding how cycles work you know that your time has ended in this situation so now you're moving on into that space um with new renewed kind of like vigor you're also and the th main thing i'm seeing here is the kind of like blocks of gold that are coming from the emperor's head here which says to me that there is a connection from divine so you you are listening to your soul you are listening to it now it's time for you to like really kind of like accept that the crown is yours Pile two, uh, pile three. Beautiful. Love that. Haters gonna hate. Four of Wands is clarified by the chariot. Love that. Love that. So you're just gonna be moving away from situations that don't give you peace. It's interesting because, like, these two doves, that's the first thing I noticed, like, these two doves here. So... It, it's almost like you're, you're going to be looking for peace. You're not, you're not peaceful where you are at the moment. It's, it's just not peaceful. I just think people are bitching. This, this, this is nasty. Whatever this situation, it's just not very nice. So I just think that you're going to be hightailing it out of there as soon as possible. Did we get two or did we get three? We got three. I can't have three. I can only have one. Maximum two. Sorry. And it gives me two. No, it gives me three, of course. These cars aren't very good at jumping out. And also because they're so precious. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't... Oh, oh, oh. Did we get two? Have we got two there? Yes. Um, right, okay. Oh, wow. Four of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that, yeah, then that matches perfectly with that. Um, you're, you're quite sad that you have to move on from this situation and that people are behaving like this. And you're going to do everything you can to leave on a good note, um, which is really interesting. I don't normally see that with the Knight of Swords, but he's holding a rose here. Why the Knight of Swords would be holding a rose, I have no idea. But, like, it's just kind of, it's just really interesting. So it's almost like see you bye and then you're like leaving a, a trail of roses behind you <laughs> um i see this as them i see this as the archaic kind of uh, negativity that you're leaving behind and what's really interesting is that we've got these beautiful like butterflies that are here and they're moving towards the cracked glass so it's almost like you know it's only a matter of time before that glass shatters and breaks and these butterflies can go free and that's where you're going. You know, you're going and you're keeping yourself to yourself. You're keeping your boundaries really clear. You're keeping quite protected as well. And I'm, I'm getting reminded of that four with this kind of like four dimension, this box here. And also that kind of like duality that's happening here. So it's almost like you're understanding the truth of your situation and how it provides a driving force for you to move on powerful message part three i love it it was a little bit clearer than part two as i must say part two was a little bit um ambiguous um okay so let's have a look at your oracle card diana okay i'm really sorry i don't know all of the meanings of the cards so i will go and look that up for you interesting part three this is about you immersing yourself within the process this is about you becoming one with the process accepting the crown accepting that it is you that is this process um 
I remember when I started on this, well, not when I started, when I got on this last leg of my current, like, journey of this, I hate saying spiritual journey because it sounds so wanky, but, like, when I got on this last leg of whatever I'm doing right now, um, I was in I was in a state of denial about it. I didn't feel that it was actually what I was supposed to be doing, particularly with the shamanic work. If you told me that I'd be, like, doing shamanic work with people i would have three years ago i would have said you you you're having an you're having a laugh so what i mean by that is that idea of you like you connecting to the fact that this is your path this is your destiny can you just accept it please and then we can just get on with the real work that's what that's saying love it um let's have this one wow omens it's reversed. Um, it, yeah, you're not trusting. There's something you're not trusting. You're not. You're not believing it. Why are you not believing it, Part Three? Okay. You. You. I, it's like you don't want to leave this behind. You're. 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 You know. You. You don't want to leave it behind. You're nervous about it. That's why you've got this Four of Pentacles here because these butterflies want to come out. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six butterflies there. They want to come out and they want to move beyond this kind of archaic like labyrinth and these pentacles and what they are stuck in the earth. They're stuck there. And these butterflies just want to get free. And um, it's almost like you, you may have known that this situation was quite toxic for you a while ago, but you, you refused to. You didn't want to acknowledge it. You were like, no, no, no. You were maybe sailing down denial. So I don't know. Um, yeah. There may have been something going on there. But, I mean, there's a crown waiting for you, par three. There is a kingdom waiting for you. This is so Hamlet. So Hamlet. You know, and uh, how happy can Hakuna Matata be, you know? <laughs> it's like that thing where, you know, it's not, it can't be, it can't be like that all the time because it just doesn't work like that. And you know, you, you know you've outgrown this situation. You know that it's time to move on. Okay. And I've got you two angelic cards. Um, so you've got Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Mikael. Uh, Archangel Mikael always comes up for me whenever I'm dealing with um, kind of other characters which are trying to uh, slander or do something. Um, it's that kind of like courage, strength and protection. It means that you're protected in whatever you do. So just go ahead and do it. I'm getting this real sense of like, can, can you just like get on and do it? I've been trying to tell you for a while. <laughs> and like that's what i'm getting part three <laughs> so i think that's really funny um and uh archangel sandalphon the song of divine purpose be kind to yourself connect with the earth uh connect with with you know j just consistently grounding yourself and nourishing yourself and caring for yourself and understanding your process of transformation don't be belligerent towards yourself please be kind please accept that you're receiving something from the divine and also from from your material and your 3d self and this is about you combining it together please be confident in the fact that you you are deserving of this. That's what this is saying. Okay, and then you've got some animal energy. Wow, bison. Ritual. Ritual. Wow. So what I get from that is that there is an intrinsic understanding in what you are doing. But there is a scent, there's like a shield. There's a sense of... Like, you don't know whether or not you're ready to accept it. And I think the gravity of this situation is in your soul is saying that you have to, you have to come to terms with accepting it. Because this is your duty. This is who you are. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And if you don't recognize this, then you're going to be stuck in this space. I think you're going to have to be forced to make the decision anyway. I don't think that you're not going to be able to get away from it, to be honest with you, Paul 3. I think you're going to have to do it because your soul is going to make you do it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think there's something very important about you realizing your truth or the truth that you know, right? And that you're, it, it's, it's inherited and now you have to receive it. Open your hands and receive me. That's what I said at the beginning of the reading. Open your hands and receive what is rightfully yours. Powerful. Oh my God, Vega. 
So we've got here, this is like virtue and proficiency, dance to the rhythm of your spirit, become one with the universe. That's exactly what that card is about, right? And then we've got Capricorn, Mercury and Venus. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's really beautiful. So, part three, what a reading, eh? Love that. Love that. What an honour to read for you. And thank you for allowing your soul to speak to me on this level. I really have enjoyed this reading. I hope you have too. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Give it, um, and also please subscribe, share with whoever you think it might be useful uh, with. Um, but otherwise, my darlings, thank you so much for being here. Please do look at my other videos as well. I do daily uploads as well. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you in future pick-a-card readings. Take care and have a beautiful day. Bye.